You are listening to Dot W Talk Radio for the underground church in the West. It's all going on, Pastor Tim. You have discipled me in the art of snacking. Talk about something really important because this Sunday. Did I leave the lights on again? My car outside? <laughs> yeah, your car will be dead by this end. Yeah. The Christian must live, or the next event on the calendar is the return of Christ. While you were sleeping last night, 45,000 children died due to malnutrition. He said, most of you don't give a bleep. Mm. And then he said, what's worse is that you're more upset Mm. with the fact that I said bleep than that 45,000 children died from diseases related to malnutrition. And the reason why I bring all this up is because you write in your sermons on doing good that that doing good has a very physical nature to it. And so many times doing good is just limited to our broadcasts and talking about it, a theory and theology, when it really has to be very practical Mm. and physical. Mm. And I think Mm. that was Tony Camplo's message for most of his life. Yeah, and it's, um, I certainly wouldn't wouldn't say anything negative uh, in regard to to Tony Campolo's ministry, I know um, everybody has different opinions. I know about it's this controversial, yeah. But I, you know, I would say this about that particular quote. I've never liked that quote, and the reason why is again, it, it plays off the works of piety and the works of mercy, as if those were somehow in competition with each other. Um, that um, uh, 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 our 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 speech, uh, those kinds of things. Uh, work in contrast or, or, or our concern of uh, how we speak, how we represent Christ in our speech is different than our care and compassion for other people. So I think that's unfortunate. Um, I don't think that the root of um, people's um, lack of care about um, people starving around the world is, is tied to their having genuine piety. I think it's, 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 it's related to a caricature of piety, which is unfortunate. That being the case, I also think that um, I see people who um, tell me that they're very concerned about starving people around the world, but <laughs> don't give a bleep about the other people who happen to be around them. Mm. You know that um, I uh, a different as an analogous situation is when people say to me, uh, "I'm ready to uh, go and smuggle Bibles into North Korea and suffer for the gospel." And I say, "Well, have you shared the gospel with your neighbor?" And they say, "Oh, I'm, I'm not called to that. <laughs> Stop my calling." Right. <laughs> so when we say, um, "Why don't you care about the 45,000 people who are starving?" My experience is, is, is not that it's because they're so pious and they're more focused on not swearing. It's that they haven't received training uh, to cause them to care about sharing their bread from their everyday meal. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. You've been listening to Dot W Talk Radio, where we reflect together on how to hear and how to do the Word of God. If you'd like to submit your question to Pastor Foley and Pastor Tim, you can go ahead and email us. Submit your question to feedback at dotheword.org. For more information on the Dot W Discipleship Groups, visit dotheword.org. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll look forward to joining you again next week.